Nikki, thank you for taking time to talk to us this morning and congratulations on being uh, BTT's Women of Excellence for 2024. I'm so excited and so proud of you. And I know we tried to talk the other morning and I thought, okay, we can't do this with her going down the road. That's what I told her. I told her, I said, I'm driving down the road. Is that going to be a problem? She said, well, it shouldn't be. I said, uh, okay, and then I reached out to pick it up, and it died. I said, "Oh Lord, this is this is this is a bad idea." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we could do that because safety is priority one at Bennett, and so yes, I, I don't believe that would have been the right thing to do. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to take a few minutes and talk with you this morning. And um, so, how long have you been driving for Bennett? Oh, well. About seven, eight months now, something like that, before I was escorting my husband for, I don't know, about two years, maybe. Okay. All right. And then how long have you been in the industry? And then I also want to know how you got in this industry. Oh, well, I've been driving a truck for about eight years. I kept aggravating my husband that I wanted to drive at the time we had a bunch of chip mm -hmm. trucks. And he thought I was just crazy. So I went and got a book one day and I started studying it. And he come in. He said, well, we had the opportunity to put another truck on. He said, you got, I forgot what it was, a couple weeks to get your license. We'll start trying. I said, what? You're serious? And I thought he was just messing with me. And it just started from there. Well, and have you, <clears throat> so have you always done manufactured housing since you've been in the business or how long have you been? No, this is doing... the first of me doing this. And I started out in a chip truck hauling chips out of the woods. And then we started teaming hauling cows. So we drove a cattle truck for a while and now we're doing this. Well, and I think, um, I think January told me that you have family. Uh, your husband drives as well, and does your uh, your father, your father-in-law drive? No, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> my husband drives. We pull all double wide so we can be together and work together, and I feel a lot more comfortable when he's with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That way, if you have a problem out on the road, he's there. Yep. He's kind of there to That's help. That's the you. best thing. We get to <laughs> do it together and work together. Yeah, that is good. That is really good. So. Um, you know, one of the things, being a woman out on the road, and you're in the industry that you're in, that's a tough industry, Nikki, so very proud of you. Some of the things that was said about you um, was that you um, you always carry yourself professionally, your equipment's always neat and clean, you will transport the heavy and tall houses when asked, when most others refuse, that you're an asset to Bennett. Um, and it, um, they also said that uh, your loaded miles and you work for different terminals is a proof of what a great job you do. And it's simple. We can count on Nikki when we need her. So those are some of the some of the nice things that was said about you, Nikki. So, you know, um, we were just talking about safety is priority one at Bennett. And so. What can you give me an example of how you practice safety out on the road? I don't know. I'm just more cautious of everything. <laughs> I I don't know. The main thing is just pay attention to everything you do. Yeah, there's a lot of distracted yes, drivers. And there's on there's the road. so many and all these drivers out here on the road, there's there's a lot of idiots that will make you quite nervous at times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you live in do you live in Alabama? I live in Mississippi. In Mississippi, but you pull out of the, you pull out of the Alabama terminal a lot. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what are some of the challenges? Because this is about our women of excellence, and uh, what are some of the challenges that you, as a woman, that you face while you're out on the road? I really don't see none of it as a challenge. I just don't pay nobody no attention and. <laughs> kind of stay to myself and as long as I have my husband I'm always more comfortable with that yeah well that's but good it, it is a lot being a woman is guys can just 
grab the tire and grab a chain and grab whatever and it's a lot easier for them and you struggle a little bit more doing that stuff here and there yeah and um do most of your runs are they do you have overnight runs or most of your runs uh, one day runs biggest portion of them is just a day yeah that's good that's good um we is, try to run it as a day because when we come out Ala, of Alabama, say like we're going to Louisiana now, it gives, because of the e-log, it gives me enough time that I we can go back by our house yeah, and stay the night there and see our kids before we leave again. Yeah. Speaking of kids, how many children do you have? Oh, we have five and four <laughs> grandkids. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have, two, I have two kids left in the house. Two in the house, what, 16 and 17. Okay, well that that keeps you busy. So, what do you like to do whenever you're when you're not working? Oh, we do a little bit of everything. Our daughter, she's real big in horses, and we ride four wheelers and play in swimming pools and just whatever the kids want to do at the time to try to entertain them for a little while. Yeah, yeah. It's I tell you what, it's um, it's nice that you're able to get back home at night though to be with them. Um, well, we try our best to get back to Alabama if I have enough time to get back up there to, because it gives us a head start for the next day. Yeah, 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 it would. Um, so, do you have any suggestions or advice for women who would like to do what you do? <clears throat> uh, just don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything. You well, always got to challenge yourself. <laughs> My daddy always told me, whatever you do, don't let the boys out, do you? So I'm just playing <laughs> trucks with the boys now, I guess. Yeah. That's what I well, tell my mama all the time. She said, well, where are you at? What are you doing? I said, playing trucks with the boys. Oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. So, um, so you enjoy, do you enjoy being out on the road? I do. do I'm not. <clears throat> uh, in house, stay at house person. If I am at the house, my husband fusses at me all the time because it's ninety something degrees, and I stay on the back porch and watch my chickens and everything outside. And I, I just like being outside. I just get bored at the house. He said, "Are we going to work?" I said, "Yes, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I got I to be doing something." Yeah, that's. I know. I'm that way too. I want to be busy all the time. And, and then we're gone two or three nights, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home. I'll, I'll get in that mood. I, I want to go home. I'm ready to see my baby girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's time to go. <clears throat> so, uh, I manufactured housing is it's tough pulling pulling houses. Um, so, why did you decide to do this rather than maybe something else and going in flatbed or vans or what? What led you? to want to work uh, for BTT and manufactured housing? My husband's always done it. Him and his dad, his brother, they, well, his brothers, they're, they're out here now. And he's always told me, if you try it, you can do it. He said, it's absolutely nothing to it if you try it. And I was so worried about how long they are and how wide they are and how, and they just looked humongous to me and it made me so nervous. He said, you can do anything. I wouldn't tell you if you, you know, I didn't think you could do it. And I'm like, I can't do it. I was a nervous wreck when I first started because it just seemed gigantic. <laughs> but now I just, I don't pay it any attention. But since that, he had always done it. And that's what he kept wanting to go back to. And it kind of threw me off because for us to go to work, depending on if we pull out of Hamilton, we're about three to three and a half hours from our house. If we go to Red Bay, we're about four hours just to get a load. And I was kind of against that at first. And then I just, I don't know what we started doing. it. We just don't, we fell into a routine with it. We don't think nothing of it because it don't matter where you work. You've got to drive somewhere to get there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and he, he, he just kept on. He said, just give it a chance. Let's just start back doing that and we'll give it a chance. And I started escorting him. I kept watching him and paying attention to everything he did and how wide you turn and how fast you stop with it. And it, it's a lot different than a cow truck. It's so much more going on with it but once I started it I loved it and <clears throat> do you have somebody escorting you now I do yeah I'm Mr. Charlie Sledge he escorts me I've known him my whole life he's an older gentleman and 
crazy as a bat so you you stay entertained <laughs> <laughs> well that's good so um all right well i think january is on here january did you have any comments or anything you'd like to say to nikki hey sorry yeah i just had to hide um uh, hide my screen for a minute but um i apologize i told you it was um the father and uh it was uh jay and nikki and his father but it's his brother so that's the family well, connection it, there his dad pulled too but he, he passed about a year ago but he he always pulled too yeah yeah so I'm, I'm i'm working on a project of all the family connections with uh with btt so that's where i mentioned to marcy before we got on the call but no i just wanted to say congratulations and you know I got to meet Nikki for a couple minutes last year in Haleyville when we were at a yeah. truck lot, and uh, um, that's when she was um, escorting for uh, for Jay. And uh, you know, you can definitely, you know, if we can definitely keep it in the family and uh, you know help each other out and be that small community that we still are, you know, it's it's just it's just great things for the Toter Division. And I just want to congratulate you as well for doing such a great job. Yes, ma'am. And there's so many great people out here. And it's not just because the ones that are family, it's the ones that I've just met, you know, like when I started. And it's like they become family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it is. It is. I, and I find that, was, especially with BTT, it's like a bit, you know, it's like a, a, a big family and, and uh, everybody working together and, and so, well, Nikki, um, in acceptance of the Women of Excellence 2024 Award, do you have anything you'd like to say? Thank you, and it wasn't expected. <laughs> it it kind of threw me off guard. It, it really did. I've never won anything in my life, I don't think. And I don't, I never like being put on a spot. I like to stay off to myself. Well, we're very proud of you. We're very proud of the way that you represent uh, our industry, and we're proud of you being a woman out there in a very, in a very tough job. And and we admire and honor you for that. So you stay safe on the road, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, uh, seeing your interview when we do our Women of Excellence for our driver appreciation in September. So yeah, it'll, uh, so hopefully we'll all have a lot of fun on that day. Hopefully so. Yeah. All right. Well, you stay safe and, and take care now.